Hello everyone and welcome to yet another exciting lecture of pathology. Today we will study about coronary occlusion. This topic comes under diseases of heart and blood vessels and is a part of paper 2 that is systemic pathology. So what exactly is coronary, coronary occlusion? Uh, coronary arteries are arteries that supply oxygenated blood to heart. Coronary arteries are arteries that supply oxygenated blood to heart. Note here that these arteries supply blood to heart muscles for its own use, meaning for the use of heart muscles. Pulmonary veins also bring oxygenated blood to heart, but that blood, blood is not for heart's own use. It is uh, only to pump to whole body, while coronary arteries supply blood for heart's own use. Like every other organ, heart also needs oxygenated blood. So when these arteries uh, gets block, get blocked or narrowed due to any reason, it is called as coronary occlusion. You, uh, you already know meaning of word occlusion. It means uh, stoppage or uh, blockage due to some pressure or some, uh, uh, some other reason. So similarly, when coronary arteries are uh, narrowed, uh, their lumen is na uh, narrowed due to any reason the blood supply to heart is re reduced and this is known as coronary occlusion this condition is also called as ischemic heart disease or an, uh, coronary artery disease before proceeding any further let's have a look at diagram of coronary arteries so here you can see a diagram of coronary arteries these arteries arise from avata and as you can see in the uh, diagram that there are two coronary arteries that, uh, uh, namely right coronary artery and left coronary artery uh, there are further subdivisions in uh, right and left branches but uh, that is uh, beyond the scope of this lecture so just uh, here remember that coronary arteries arise from aorta they are mainly uh, there are uh, two main branches right coronary artery and left coronary artery and these arteries supply blood to heart muscles okay so uh, this is a brief description of coronary arteries so i hope till now that uh, you have got a fair idea about coronary arteries now we will come to our main topic uh, that is coronary occlusion Coronary occlusion will invariably lead to uh, reduced blood supply to heart muscles, which is known as ischemic heart disease. Okay, uh, uh, it is uh, very clear that if there is any occlusion in coronary arteries, blood supply to heart will be reduced, and uh, uh, this reduction in blood supply is called as ischemic heart disease. Uh, the, uh, the definition of uh, ischemic heart disease is acute or chronic form of cardiac disability arising from imbalance between the myocardial supply and demand for oxygenated blood okay so this is definition it is it may be acute or chronic uh, and it is a form of cardiac disability cardiac disability means uh, ca uh, heart is no, not pro uh, functioning properly and uh, how does it arises it arises due to imbalance between the myocardial supply and demand of oxygenated blood that means the demand for oxygenated blood is not met through supply. Supply is less than demand. This is called as ischemic heart disease. As we have seen that coronary occlusion invariably leads to ischemic heart disease. We, we will use the term ischemic heart disease from now on. But all this description will apply to coronary occlusion also. In other words, you can replace the word ischemic heart disease with coronary occlusion uh, ischemic heart disease is also known as coronary artery disease first we will look at etiopathogenesis of ischemic heart disease uh, what is etiopathogenesis etiopathogenesis means cause and development of a disease etiopathogenesis means cause and development of a disease so etiopathogenesis of ischemic heart disease can be studied under three headings number one coronary atherosclerosis number one coronary atherosclerosis number two 
सुपर एडेड चेंजेस इन कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस नंबर टू इज सुपर एडेड चेंजेस इन कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस एंड नंबर थ्री दैट इज नॉन अथेरोस्कुलोरोटिक कॉजेस सो फर्स्ट अमंग दिस इज कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस वॉट इज कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस वी विल सी लेटर कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस इज कॉमनेस्ट कॉज ऑफ आई एच डी दैट इज स्कीमिक हार्ट डिसीज सो इट इज कॉमनेस्ट कॉमनेस्ट कॉज ऑफ आई एच डी दैट इज स्कीमिक हार्ट डिसीज इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्कीमिक हार्ट डिसीज इन मोर देन नाइन्टी नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ केसेज दैट मीन्स वी हैव सीन थ्री कॉजेज ऑफ स्कीमिक हार्ट डिसीज कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस सुपर एडेड चेंजेस इन कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस एंड नॉन अथेरोस्कुलोरोटिक कॉजेस सो फर्स्ट वन अमंग दिन कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ केसेस एंड दिस वन दिस वन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ केसेस एंड दिस टू रिमेनिंग आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टेन परसेंट ऑफ केसेस ओके सो नाउ कमिंग टू वाट इज कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस मीन्स हार्डनिंग और नर्विंग ऑफ आर्टरीज अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस मीन्स हार्डनिंग और नर्विंग ऑफ आर्टरीज सो कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस मीन्स हार्डनिंग और नर्विंग ऑफ कोरोनरी आर्टरीज ओके सो हार्डनिंग और नर्विंग ऑफ कोरोनरी आर्टरीज दैट सप्लाई ब्लड ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड टू हार्ट मसल्स इज कॉल्ड एज कोरोनरी अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस इन कोरोनरी आर्टरीज इज कॉज्ड मेनली बाय बिल्डअप ऑफ प्लेक इनसाइड कोरोनरी आर्टरी नाउ हाउ दिस अथेरोस्कुलोरोसिस ऑकर्स इट इज कॉज्ड बाय बिल्डअप ऑफ प्लेक इनसाइड कोरोनरी आर्टरीज दिस प्लेक इज मेनली बिल्ड ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड हाउ दिस प्लेक इज फॉर्म्ड इट इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ मैनी मटेरियल बट मेनली द द मटेरियल विच कॉजेस प्लेक फॉर्मेशन इज कोलेस्ट्रॉल हियर यू कैन लुक हाउ नॉर्मल आर्टरी लुक्स एंड हाउ एन आर्टरी विथ प्लेक बिल्ड अप लुक्स लाइक इन दिस इमेज यू कैन लुक हेल्दी कोरोनरी आर्टरी एंड सेकेंड इमेज इज कोरोनरी आर्टरी विथ प्लेक बिल्डअप सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट इन हेल्दी कोरोनरी आर्टरी द ल्यूमेन इज वाइडर and uh, in uh, if uh, there is plaque formation the lumen gets narrowed down okay so uh, obviously if uh, lumen is uh, wider more blood will be supplied and if uh, lumen is narrowed blood supply will be reduced so uh, this is called as atherosclerosis mostly these plaques are formed in anterior descending branch of left coronary artery we have earlier seen that uh, there are two main uh, coronary arteries right and left coronary artery so these plaques are uh, formed uh, most commonly in left coronary artery and in left coronary artery they are formed formed mainly in left anterior descending artery okay so this is the first cause of ischemic, ischemic heart disease that is uh, that is coronary atherosclerosis this is first cause of ischemic heart disease uh, so this is it for today uh, in next lecture we will look at next two causes so i hope you would like the, like this lecture and if you have any doubt please ask in comment section and do give your valuable feedback this is it from me today see you guys in next lecture take care bye bye